from the back of the back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. I have been with women from around the world. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOP. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. From MSNBC. Famously marriage-phobic actor George Clooney. Has no regrets when it comes to his lack of a long-term relationship or kids. For him, it's simply a choice of work over domestic bliss. Clooney told Britain's people... Is there a People magazine in Britain, too? <laughs> he said, I don't expect to ever get married again or have children. I am never at home, and every woman gets sick of it. If I was them, I would never put up with me for long, and they don't. There you go, the perfect crime. George Clooney! Oh, you're just a teddy bear, George! Everybody thinks you're this womanizer, but that can't possibly be true because you're just such a nice guy! <laughs> then when he turns out to be a womanizer, it's like, hey, I never told you I wasn't a womanizer. <laughs> See, I know how that game is played. That's exactly what I get from Ch you, Tom. You know, you have this image on the radio being this real a hole and everything. You're such a nice guy. I, I don't know why people say these things about you. Well, <laughs> darling, wait till I tell you I'm going to call you Saturday morning, and I don't talk, call you back until October. <laughs> then you got to see what kind of nice guy I am. Then when I don't call back, well, what are you going to say to me? I can't believe you haven't called me since July. I can't believe it. What do you mean you can't believe it? I told you I'm an a-hole. I'm not going to see you anymore. Perfect. Kind of sick of you myself. Time to move on to the next victim. So when I hear George Clooney's story, it sounds familiar. The story from MSNBC continues. It says here, that's right. It's the women who tend to leave the Hollywood hunk, not the other way around. Still, George places the blame firmly on his lifestyle. He says, I do begin to wonder, am I going to be relegated to these three-year relationships for the rest of my life? Why do you wait that long? You George Gaffin Clooney? <laughs> Three years. What are you doing? Three days. Come on. Up it up. <laughs> he says, my trouble is that I keep on taking jobs. And jobs take me further away from home. What I really have is work. I like being on a film set, freezing my ass off or whatever. Good for you, George. Says here, an uncle, also named George, deserves some credit when it comes to the actor's no regrets philosophy. George said, I learned a lot about death from him. People keep on asking me, don't you want to have kids? I have not wanted to have kids. And they say, aren't you afraid of dying alone? 
but we all die alone. He said, I remember Uncle George sitting in bed, 68 years old. He looked at me and said, what a waste. I came to the conclusion that I was not going to wake up one day in my 60s and say, what a waste. I was going to grab as much out of this life as I could. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to grab a couple of melons as soon as I get out of here. Holy cow. George Clooney, you know, uh, uh, I've never met George, but he sounds like somebody I would like. Although I, I think I could give him a little coaching because, uh, number one, three year relationships, you're George Clooney, what are you doing? And number two, I mean, he could get hotter chicks than he gets. Some of these chicks are, I'm surprised sometimes I would expect him to be with hotter chicks than he's with. Him and uh, Pierce Brosnan. What are you doing? <laughs> the hell are you doing? So George Clooney says no marriage, no kids. Uh, another one uh, on the on the on the bandwagon, along with the rest of us, who say uh, what's to be gained? Getting married, having kids. You damn straight, George Clooney. We are all going to die alone, and uh, there's no guarantee because you have kids that anybody's going to be gathered around your deathbed. No guarantee of that. Are you kidding me? By the way, if George Clooney wanted uh, to have a crowd around his deathbed, all he'd have to do is send out a press release. George Clooney announced he is seriously ill and may die soon. He's in room 473 at Cedar sinai Medical Center. That's all he'd have to do. There'd be hot chicks still trying to 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 to, to, to hop on top, but there he'd be in his deathbed. First come, first serve. First come, first serve. They'd, they'd be waiting for rigor mortis to set in, for God's sake. They'd still be there. George Clooney's not going to die alone. Come on. Crazy. Are you worried you're going to die alone? Uh, no. I mean, look. The people who are afraid of dying alone are the people who also believe there's a there's a guy with a big white beard sitting up there in the clouds, you know, checking to see if you're naughty or nice. Those are the people who are afraid of dying alone. Uh, those of us who don't believe in fairy tales, we're not worried about it. We, we know we're alone. We know it. But it just feels good to know that George Clooney... Well, I'm sure every woman out there would love to be married to if they wanted to get married. It's good to know George Clooney also has no interest in marriage, no interest in kids. Oh, but he gets that same thing. Oh, George, you're just saying that. If you met the right girl, you'd be married. You'd be married. You would. You'd have kids, too. No, he wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, uh, a lot of guys wouldn't. More and more guys are starting to get the idea. And you look at that Alex Rodriguez story, how many millions is he going to have to pay out just because he likes strippers or he likes to study uh, Kabbalah with Madonna, whatever he's doing late at night over there? I mean, uh, I don't get it. It's just an ongoing... Every day there's new evidence to why you shouldn't get married, why you shouldn't be having kids with these chicks. More and more evidence, more and more... I keep telling you about more and more people. I mean, uh, are you getting the idea here? Tom Likas. Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. I'm 42, and I'd love to bang an 18-year-old. That'd be great. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. George Clooney, tell him why he won't get married or have kids. You hear this kind of talk more and more nowadays, boys. Are you getting the hint? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. John of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. You know, uh, Looney's a man. Now, you talked about A-Rod last hour. He's a man-child. He wants a mother, right? Uh, he wants a grandmother. Yeah, you're right about that. You know, now Clooney may switch around. It may be too long for your taste, but I'll tell you what, he gets some hot chicks. And who says he's monogamous? Well, nobody ever did. <laughs> there you go. 
I mean, he, he may be with that, that chick that he met that was dealing cards or something here recently, you know, but, uh, he's not, he's not staying with her. Now, he's a man's man and the kind of guy that, uh, we like. Uh, Nate Rod's a pussy. He just happens to be a pussy who makes a lot of money and plays baseball. Yeah, uh, I agree with you that A-Rod's a pussy, and uh, you guys had him all to yourself there in Dallas for a few years. He did, and he disappointed the crap out of us. We also had an owner of the baseball team who was an absolute idiot, so there you go. Oh, boy. Blow me up, Tom. Here you go, baby. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Just this whole idea of getting married and having kids, it's... Uh... It just doesn't make any sense anymore for guys. The, the A-Rod story is so stupid. He's been married since, what, 2002? Not even six years? Like, Clooney has the right idea. No kids, no marriage, no nothing. And it doesn't affect, by the way, I, and you boys need to know this. You will notice it does not affect George Clooney's popularity with women. George Clooney has said this before, that he's uh, opposed to getting married, opposed to having kids. It doesn't stop women from wanting him. You need to remember that. You can tell chicks you don't want to get married, you don't want to have kids. It will not diminish your popularity. I think some women will respect you more. Who needs to get married and have kids, for God's sake? Especially if you have a good job. Especially if you have money. Especially if you have money, power, or fame. Especially if you have an education. Marriage is for poor people. Marriage is for guys who can't afford an apartment. And they want to bone their roommate. <laughs> That's who it's for. If you've got money, you don't need to be married. End of story. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Here's Craig on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. I. Yes? Why, why do you talk about stuff that's, I, you're a counselor? Am I a counselor? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a not. I'm a professor. Oh, you're a professor? Yes. Neat. And why do you play video games a lot or not? No, I I I don't. You have a TV? Yes, I do. I have a T. I have seven TVs. Seven? Yes. Do you watch them all at once? No, they're in seven different rooms. What? Why are you in seven? Because there's seven different rooms. What if I'm not in the room where the TV is? Um, are they are they HDs? Yes, they are. Whoa. <laughs> I love HD. You do? They're fun. What's your favorite show in HD? Um, this, I don't know. Disease. Well, is, is there any shows in HD? Is what in HD? Are there any cool shows in HD? Any what? Nice shows. Well, there are lots of nice shows at HT, absolutely. Well, give me a... You want an example of a nice show in HD? Uh, Conan O'Brien. Yeah, I love it. I love that show in HD. Or, or Jay, Jay Leno. I love Jay Leno in, in HD. Jay Leno. Like, oh, like his chin is like off the, off the, off the TV and like coming in like... <laughs> His chin is, like, off the TV. His chin is off the TV. When you watch it in HD, his chin is off the TV? Yeah, his chin is, like, ah, like, see, his chin is bad. I see. Craig, let me ask you a question. Uh, Dad, do you uh, do you watch uh, a lot of commercials? Yeah, I like commercials. I like, my favorite commercials is the medicine commercials. Which ones? The medicine commercials, like. All these pills. People take. I just read that people like take pills, like the, people who take pills, like the, the depression pill. Or the, right, you like those? Yeah, like people like the side effects, or like this person talking fast. 
There's a commercial selling pills and the guy's talking fast. Yeah, like the side face being like, I don't know. I love this. I love this. I like, I I love commercials. Why do you have so many commercials? Because I make a lot of money and they have to pay my salary. Up oh, there goes another one. Are y'all censored? Well, oh yeah, they censor us all the time. Who does? Ah, uh, the man. We're censored by the man. It's not God, though. Do you know the difference between an anal and a rectal thermometer? Anal. Oh yeah, it's funny. How much do they cost? Uh, you might want to stop by the local drugstore and find out. No, I. What about an adult store? Do they have it have there too? Oh, what, anal thermometers? Yeah. No, you don't have to go to an adult store. You just go to the drugstore for that. Um, but they have it hidden. No, they're not hidden. You just uh, go down the aisle. Yes, they have it. Okay. What is it in the section of flat? Who's that, your wife? No, a bi a, an old bitch. We got, I got bitches in this place. I don't know. You got bitches in that place? Yeah. Put that bitch on the phone. No, oh, he's, he's... I don't like her. You don't like her? Does she know you're on the radio? No. Mm. Now, Craig, where are you calling from? I'm from... I'm in Manchester, Austin. Right now, let me at you're in Austin. Are you listening to the show, what, on the internet? Yes, I love the internet. I love that. Just the only show I get off the internet. I love that show off the internet. It's so cool. Yeah, I agree. And uh, where do you live, Craig? Not your address, but I mean, like, what kind of place? Where do you live? Marbridge. And what is that? It's a place with cognitive... Disorders. For cognitive disorders? Yes, Marbridge is the foundation, Marbridge.org. You can see just a place in Texas that we're, we need, we need, we're struggling with money. We need to get some more money. I see. Now, Craig, we were talking about George Clooney. You know, he doesn't want to get married or have kids. What do you think about that? Oh, no, he's, but he's doing the actor. He's doing the Oceans, Oceans. Oceans 11, Oceans 12, Oceans 13. Oceans maybe 14. I don't know if they're doing any more. I don't know. I hope they're doing the uh, video game. I'll be, I'll be doing that. Maybe the, the video game. I'll you know, Craig, I just had an idea. How would you like to be our entertainment reporter? <laughs> sure. Uh, what would be your... What You, you could review various films and video games and what have you. And then uh, you could be our entertainment reporter. Would you like that? Neat, yeah. Okay, so what what will be the first thing you're going to review? Just the video game, the movie games, the movie games, like the like for instance, all the movies that coming out of the games are so fun, they're easy. Uh huh. All right. So give us your review. It'd be cool to play. I don't know. What's the review like? What is what like? A review. What does that mean, a review? You know, like uh, when they tell you if a movie is good or bad, and they tell you why. It'd be good if they have a cool movie game. Have you have you ever seen, like, uh, that TV show, like, uh, Ebert and Roper, or... Yeah. That they review movies... Why, why, when you talk, why, why is that rumble? Uh, I don't hear a rumble. Oh. Are you sitting down or standing up or like on the, in the computer? I'm sitting on the can right now. Ooh. You mean in the bathroom? Yes, I am. <laughs> do you, do you fly a lot? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm here in the stall right now, as a matter of fact, Greg. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> I'm picking you again. 
I play. I, I read. I read books in the stall. Play yeah. games in the stall. I like to bring uh, sporting news in here. <laughs> That's funny. You should have a TV in the stall. Uh, you know like, what? You're right. I'm going to talk to the management about that. Yeah. Like, you want to stay in? Who the I'm going to be in here for a while. They had a sale on chalupas. In the boy. So, uh, anyway, Craig. Yeah, radio is great. We can do it anywhere now. That's pretty wide science you've got. <laughs> I uh, I learned from the best, Larry Craig and I. Craig, yeah, well, how's it going over there? I'm fine. I I hear the synthesizer. Are you talking into a synthesizer? What? Am I talking into a synthesizer? No, no. In fact, I'm going to flush right now. Wait, hang on a second. Oh. What a relief. Okay, I'm done. That's weird. You're doing it with yourself in the bathroom. How do you do that? You just take the microphone into the bathroom. That's your whole... Okay. You like that? Yeah. All right, uh, Craig. Now, do you uh, uh, do you play the uh, games, sports, other than to have a video game? Do you play like ping pong? I do. Oh, come on, let's play some ping pong. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, you and me. We're gonna play right now. Here we go. Come on, hit the ball. Ping. Come on, hit it. Ping pong ping. <laughs> I I don't. It's hard because we're both. It's a TV. It's you dropped the ball again. Look at that. Come on. Start again. Good. Very good, Greg. Yeah. You're doing great. Well, I got to tell you, you're improving. Looking good. Who taught you how to do that? Magic, it's fun. What? It's so fun. It's fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Craig, I'll be looking for your uh, next film review. Uh, uh, what what would be a good one to have him review? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, The uh, Dark Knight, Batman. That's coming out. I like Batman. All right, well, you, we, I want you to see the film, and then I want you to call in with your review. I want you to report on the film. I like the trailer. The trailer is so cool. Oh, there you go. Well, you get to see the whole movie? Yeah. Good. So you'll call us back with your review? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I want to especially want to find out what you thought of Heath Ledger. Is he the... Is he, is he, I think he's the Joker in this one, isn't he? I think so. He's a cool joker. And the, is, is Batman Christian Bale? I, I don't know much about it. We're going we're gonna to find out. You're going to give us the review. It's a cool movie. I, but you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> the trailer is awesome. You're, you'll review the film when it comes out, okay, Craig? Don't be jumping the gun. Okay, good. Craig, good luck on that. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I think I must do penance tonight for talking to you today. Because years ago I thought you were the seat of faith and, uh, and I've come around. It's the Tom Likas Show. Hollywood, I'm Tom Likas. 
1-800-5800-TOM. Charles Clooney reiterating to MSNBC why he will not get married or have kids. I think that's great, don't you? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Ryan on the top like his show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? It's actually Ronnie, not Ryan. Oh, all right. Well, uh, it says Ryan on the screen, and that's what I read, Ronnie. How are you doing? I don't know how you're doing. I'm doing great. Right on, man. Look, I've been listening to everything you've been saying. I've been a listener for for quite some time now, man, and i got to tell you, you're right on. And it uh, it makes me think about my current situation, and I'm kind of conflicted because I have this girl. She's a California 10. There's no doubt about it. You, you would agree. She, uh, she sells wine. She's into wine. She's well-traveled. And my question is, why? Uh... That's a good one. I'll ponder it. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hi here to Holly on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. 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 Hi, what's up? Hi, Nothing. Ah, I've been hearing your conversation lately, and I'd have to totally agree. With what? No marriage, no kids. Tell us why. Why? Well, I mean, marriage is great, but to me, marriage is just personally an earthly license title. It's not really, like, if you love somebody, that's great, but you don't need some preacher or somebody to tell you legally that you can marry that you're married and that you have to spend the rest of your life with them i just think that if you love somebody it's just you love them and that's it and if you want to stay faithful then that's your prerogative and go forth and do it you know but you don't need someone else to agree with you and tell you that so i mean as far as marriage goes i mean that's that's marriage bad. is all about property uh, the wedding ring the origin of the wedding ring uh was uh, was like the link in a chain yeah, but it's just a ring. I mean, it's just it's just a rock. I mean, I can go out and get a pebble off the street and put it on a, like some sort of ring or some sort of metal and say, "Oh, I got a ring." But I mean, it's property still. I mean, it doesn't matter. I just, it's just the point that it's like if it's a, if it's if you love somebody, like I said, it, you don't need a license to say it. But like you said, it is. It's all about property. That yeah, man. That's what people want. They want to own, uh, you know. They want to own furniture. They want to own uh, a car. Yeah, pretty they, much. They want to own you. Yeah, I've noticed that. It's. I mean, I, I give it to George. I mean, hey, if that's what he wants, then people need to quit criticizing him for it. I mean, I, I have people telling me all the time, and I mean, like you said, most men prefer not to get married, and I'm a woman, and I say, hey, screw it, you know, and I get people telling me all the time, oh, you don't know that yet, you don't know that yet, and I'm like, dude, if I'm 22 and I don't want to get married, then I'm 22 and I don't want to get married ever. That's my That's my decision, and I'm sticking to it, you know? That's great. So you're just going to bang around, have a good time, live it up. Well, yeah. I mean, why not? I mean, if I find somebody later down the road, I don't, like I said, I don't need to marry them. You know, I can just say, hey, dude, this is working and that's cool, you know. And if it's, I mean, it's like friends with benefits all the time. You don't have to worry about feeling bad because, oh, my God, you know, I'm cheating on this person or that person. It's like if you love them, you don't need to cheat, you know, whatever. But there's no there's no guilt in there. You, because- you still might need to cheat. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, never settle for less than what you want. And if that's the case, then you shouldn't have to cheat. Because I'm thinking, like, if I'm if I'm attracted to somebody full heartedly, like physically and emotionally and mentally or whatever, I don't I don't need some other guy who I'm halfway attracted to. If I got somebody who I'm fully attracted to, you know. Yeah, well, even people you're attracted to sometimes there's no chemistry. Sometimes they're not getting the job done. They might be perfectly lovable, wonderful people. <laughs> not getting the job done. Okay, I see what you're right. saying. Right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, but I guess in the end it is all pretty much about sex sometimes, though. So. But uh, on the kid thing, I I think kids are great, but I just, I mean, when you're young and even when you're old, it's like there's enough kids in this world. I mean, you got people out popping out four kids at a time. It's like we really don't need any more kids on this planet right now. So 
I mean, to everybody else out there who wants kids, I tell you, go out and frickin' adopt a damn kid. Quit popping them out for welfare. That's all I'm going to say. Well, thank you for that, Holly. You're welcome, and we greatly enjoy your show. Thank you very much. I appreciate the call. Let's go to James on the Tom Likas show. Hello, James. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. Hey, you talking about not having kids? Well, George Clooney's talking about it. Not getting married, no kids. Man, that's the thing to do, man. Let me tell you, man. You get married, or even you have kids, you are locked in, man. You know what? What you what you talk about on the radio, people should listen to, brother. Let me tell you, man. Once you have the kids, you're anchored in. They have you by the short hairs, man. That's all there is to it. Well, I agree with that. I say it all the time. Are you married? Uh, I am currently married, man. I'm currently married. Currently Not married? By choice. Not by choice. I was pressured into it only because I had a kid, and my father felt like it was a thing to do, so therefore I got married. Now they got me by the short hairs, man. You didn't have to do it. What is that? You didn't have to do it. That's why I'm talking to you, and that's why I'm letting people know, man, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. That's right. And you're better off not doing it. Yeah, but you're better off. You're better off not doing it. And that's just that perfect person, man, that you really want to think you want to spend a life with, man. But who is who can really meet that criteria? You know what I mean? Well, I agree with that. Totally 100%. Hey, can you take me out, man, with the toilet flush? Yes. Yes, James, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That is our telephone number. George Clooney told MSNBC, "No marriage for him. No having children." Isn't that great? Come on, boys, step it up. Steve on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. What's going on? Not much. I've got three words for you. Russ Martin rules. Oh, I agree with that. All right, then. But he's still, but he's still, but he's still talking about getting married. Yeah, but what do you think about that? Well, I mean, if it's a perfect girl, it's a perfect girl. Yeah, be, I don't care how perfect a girl is, you shouldn't be getting married. Your, your last little uh, thing you said a while ago was that only poor people get married. What do you think about that? Well, only poor people need to get married. Oh, well, Russ Barnes not poor. That, well, that's why I've been trying to tell him, don't do it. Yeah, but... Pretty you're soon, you're going to be down... If Russ um, Martin gets married, um, pretty um, soon... Um, if Russ Martin gets married, pretty soon he'll be down to one Batmobile instead of two. You think? Yes! Even with the prenup and everything, you think? Well, he better protect those Batmobiles. I'll tell you what. I wouldn't even care about the house, but the Batmobiles, they're sacrosanct. Okay, Tom. I've been to Russ's house. I've been there. You right. I mean, he's got he's something like 15,000 square feet. It's the biggest house I've ever been in. Exactly. Huge. You don't right, want to risk that. I'm going to make that statement. Just blow me up wherever you want to blow me up. I'll blow you up, baby. Here you go. I'm Russ Martin, number one radio personality in Texas. Proceeds us every day on Live 105.3 in Dallas. And, um, you know, it's one of the great radio talents. You know what? Uh, you should uh, tune into him someday. You can stream him on the Internet. Go to Live1053.com and uh, stream the Russ Martin Show. Do it. You'll enjoy the show. Tell him I sent you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Clark of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Clark. Oh, how you doing today? I care. Doing okay. That's right. George Clooney is, you know, he's doing what every man needs to do. Honestly, just get as much ass as the toilet seat, more ass than the toilet paper. You know, you don't need to settle yourself down with one woman when you can go international. You're global. If you're and George Clooney, you can have a different woman every hour on the hour for the rest of your life. That's what I, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Women will no be one, lined up at the cemetery uh, to, to ride you like a pony. No social pressure to get married. Parents bugging you. 
I told my family, I don't want to get married or have kids. They were like, why, why this and why that, you know? <sighs> Unbelievable. And then A-Rod, he, he's lucky that he's getting out of his marriage because it's before the 10 years where he doesn't have to pay alimony for the rest of the life, you know, just the first six years every other two days, right? Is that what you talk about? Yeah. Man, this, he's going to realize that this is going to be the best thing he ever done. And if he is, you know, doing around whatever he's doing with other females, now he can do it with the freedom of not getting caught. And, you know, he doesn't owe anybody anything. And don't be getting married again. Exactly. I think he's going to realize, you know, just pay your six years of alimony, whatever that, you know, three that you're going to be in, in the three years of alimony for every other day. Get, you know, get it done. Some guys never get married. I, and yep. some guys, some guys never get, like George Clooney's never going to get married. And then some guys never stay single. Exactly. Yep. Never stay single. Right. Never stay single. Never stay single. Just have to treat him like a jerk. You know, no more than forty dollars, which I'm sure George Clooney must have spent. He could afford it. He's probably like a four hundred more or more than three days. That's what I would do. You know, if I had that type of you know game. But forty's good. Forty's good. Absolutely. All right, Clark. Thank you. I just want to know. Can you take me out with the airplane crash in Phoenix, Arizona? That's oh, that boy. That is really offensive. This may be the end of this thing. He's taking okay, off, he's out. running. Okay, uh, now it's a foot chase. Okay, now he's jumped into now another, he's in another vehicle. vehicle. Okay, okay. Right, they're Doors closing open, in. Please. Looks okay. like they've. Oh, Jesus. We're, we're going to pull out. We don't. We don't. Uh, we don't know what has just happened right there. Yeah, well, we do. One eight hundred five. Oh, boy, that is tasteless. Every time we play that, I just don't feel right about it. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Here's Todd on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Todd. Hey, man. Hey. I just want to call and tell you. Listen, I'm I'm the happiest I've ever been. I I have a banner dating career. I'm 47 years old. Um, I grew up in L.A. I'm from L.A. I've dated. A lot of attractive women. I just broke up with a 23-year-old girl. I'm 47. Um, she wanted to get married. I've been engaged twice, Tom. But that's as close as I've come, brother. And I just, I'm really happy. I'm happy dating. I'm, I, I date them usually for a year, maybe two years. And then it gets to the point, well, well are we going to get married? Is it going to go on? And usually it's no, so I, I get out. Wow. Good for you. It's been awesome, and I'm, I'm really happy about it. And I, I've never felt, I never really wanted kids. You know, I never felt any pressure to have kids. Um, and marriage, you know, I didn't have a good example with marriage with my, my parents. They argued constantly. They stayed together, I believe, for me. And, uh, you know, marriage works for some people, but I think in the long run, it's a failing institution. Yeah. I agree with you. Well, it certainly is no good for men. It may have benefits for certainly women benefit. Ask Mrs. Alex Rodriguez and uh, children, but uh, not guys. Yes, sir. Big fan, Tom. Thank you, Todd. Thank you. Blow me up. I'll blow you up, baby. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. Ulysses on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi, uh, I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, this is the first time I call. Well, here uh, we are. <laughs> oh, it feels different. Um, okay, um, well, I was telling the guy that I spoke to before that um, every time, you know, I'll be talking to my family members or just people in general, uh, they ask me why am I married, this and that, whatever. Um, so I, you know, they, they tell me, well, why don't you step up? And I wanted to talk to you about that. I wanted to ask you, what can I say to come back from that? Because it's always like... I haven't heard you. You haven't finished the sentence yet. You keep uh, zigzagging all over the place. What are you trying to say? Um, well, my, the people that I know, they, they'll they ask me, why aren't, why aren't you married? And I tell them, well, I don't want to. You know, I'm, there's no need for me to get married. So then they'll say, well, why don't you, just, why don't you step up? Why don't you get a girlfriend and get married? Step up to the plate. Step up to the plate? Yeah. I want, why don't you I want step to up to the plate and jump off a building? <laughs> why don't you step up to the plate and put a gun in your head and pull the trigger? Step up to the plate. <laughs> yeah, so they always they always try to put that. So I would just, you know, I just want a, a comeback for that. So they like just shut their mouth. You tell them there's no good reason to do it. It's outrageous. Thank you, Ulysses, for the call. The Tom Likas Show.